Yeah. It's time for another what if. And you guys know which one we're doing today. We're about to hop in on another what if. And it's going to be, once again, continuation of what if. Next I'm gonna do if Gogeta had a kid, so that's gonna be interesting. So without further ado, let's go! Anyway. <clears throat> so we starting off where we left off with uh, Shadow following Radis and Gohan to the hospital. And Shadow once again says, the man that I'm trying to defeat is now is known as Catharot. Radis understand knowing he doesn't really need to know what happened. He knows what happened. He knows that his brother killed basically his best friend. And Gohan is over here saying, looking kind of puzzled as well, but asks him, why is it so important that you killed this Kakarot guy? He looks at Gohan with tears in his eyes. Now, you know that most Saiyans don't cry, but ones who are raised like Shadow to be emotional, so you, you know. And he immediately says, but that bastard killed my father. And then, and then a few years later, Frieza found out where we were, and he sent his men to kill my mom. And then that causes Raditz to get, to, you know, get even more mad. Remembering Shadow had already said this before, but still, just the thought of it pissed him off. Before I go any further, remember guys, if you guys have any more artwork uh, that you like, uh, before I do anything, big shout out to Mugen Uchiha, my boy. He hooked me up with this beautiful piece of art right here. Thank you, my guy. And remember, guys, if you guys want some more artwork, if you, if you guys want to send in your own version of artwork or what you guys like about this, uh, my social media. There you go. Here you go, right here. Um, by the way, before I, I continue, so I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, giving the shout outs in a whole in a video by itself. Uh, who did Celathon last month? So I hope you guys are prepared to be part of the Prime Bio Fuel list. So without further ado, let's continue on with the story. As uh. They finally make their descent to the, uh, to the hospital. Shadow is very intrigued by this. He thought that Earth was nothing but a group of, like, savages. Nothing but people over here that didn't know how to do nothing but fight. Kind of like how, you know, Sans were. But apparently, he was kind of like the uh, people how they were in his old planet. On the planet he was actually raised on by the old man. So, with that being said, he looks at Gohan, saying, Wow, Earth is a lot more civilized than I uh, originally gave it credit for. The people here are a lot different. They smell kind of weird, too. A lot of them have different scents. Gohan's saying that, well, there are a lot of people who wear clone or perfume, and that trigger that causes the sand to go, what's clone? What's perfume? And, you know, thinking like, okay, he doesn't know much because he's not from Earth. Gohan and, him, Gohan and him just chat a little bit, and then they and they then go on to an elevator. Then Shadow asks Raditz, hey, Uncle Raditz, what's your brother like? Saying, ha ha. Well, let me tell you, he's a pain in the he's a pain in the neck. I'll tell you that much. However, he even though uh, even though what I said earlier wasn't the truth, he does execute some Saiyan pride, if not the, but not the Saiyan way. Cat, you see, my cat, uh, my brother Goku. <laughs> you see, he um, but he has his own sense of Saiyan pride. He has pride in his friends. That's why he will always protect them. It's causing Shadow to look at him weirdly. Friends, huh? Then looks at Gohan. Gohan smiles at him. He then smiles back at Gohan. Then, uh, before they could do anything else, before anything else happens, the ele elevator opens, and Raditz says, "All right, all right, kids. I'm going to go and look in my brother. Check out my brother. Gohan, keep Shadow company until I come back." They both agree to this. Raditz walks in. Raditz walks in and says, "Come wake up." Goku says, uh, hey Raditz, uh, how you doing? Everything alright? He says, yes, everything's fine, but there's a situation. This causes Goku to uh, almost sit up rapidly saying, wait a minute, is Vegeta back? Or someone else to try and take over the planet? He's like, no, no, I'll take Vegeta more than likely on his way to Yannick. However, we do have an issue. Goku looked at him uh, curiously. Remember the Saiyan known as Turles? Goku is saying, yeah, because I mean, we fought not too long ago. And then he says, well, he had a son. Frick. Goku's like, okay, what does his son want? He says, obviously he wants to kill you! But, from what I understand, he doesn't know what you look like, or, or, uh, 
who what, what your real what your name is. All he knows is that there's a sand known as Kakarot, and he's here on Earth. Somewhere. And Goku's like, so what do you want me to do? You want me to just go outside and fight him? Right, it's hitting his brother on the head. No, you idiot! What I want you to do is right now just lay low. Don't say your real. I won't. I'll refrain from saying your real name for now, anyway. Whenever he's not around, but whenever he is around, I can't call you Kakarot. And it, this causes uh, Goku to tease his brother, saying, "Ha ha! You have to call me Goku instead of Kakarot." Ha 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 ha! Raditz getting a little infuriated at his younger brother once again hitting him upside hitting him upside the head. He's saying, is that all that you need to tell me? Well, yes, and that Gohan is also here. Should I let them in? Saying, yeah, saying, yeah, sure, go ahead. And once opening the door, we see Kid Gohan run up to his father, up in band, wrapped in bandages, and Gohan patting, and Goku patting Gohan on the head. Shadow looks at this and thinks, like, wow, Gohan's father is really nice. Father. Oh. This causes uh, Shadow to get a little sad at first. But then Goku realizes this. Goku saying, So, you must be the Saiyan that Raditz was talking to me about. Go uh, Shadow also remembering his manners. He's saying, Yes, my name is Shadow. I'm a Saiyan as well. It's very nice to meet you, Mr. Goku. Go Goku saying, Don't call me Mr. That's just that's just kinda weird, you know? Just call me Goku. And then he tells Shadow to come here. Shadow walks up to him, being trying to, you know, be nice to the man. Then he realizes something. Huh. He looks a little like father. Hmm. But he couldn't tell all the way. He just knew because of the facial, facial features. Right now, Goku's hair is wrapped up. So when he sees Goku later on, he's going to be like, Dad? That is not going to. I'll leave that, I'll leave that uh, later on, though. Anyway, right, uh, Goku asks, so, what's your, so what do you plan on doing if, until you find this guy that you're looking for? He looks at Raditz and like, asks him, Did you tell him everything about me in that short span of time? Raditz, uh, shaking, uh, just scratching the back of his head. Uh, just the, just stuff that he needed to know. He said he'll help you find this Kakarot person. And of course, Goku's saying, yeah, there's not a problem. I'll help you find this guy, and we'll avenge your dad. Shadow actually being happy. He didn't realize that there were so many nice people on Earth. Little did he know that he was talking to Kakarot. So, you know. so, with that being said, if that's the case, I need to get stronger. But I don't know how, I don't know what I could do to get stronger at this point in time. Rad is saying, you're going to be coming to train with me. I'm going to train you within the next week. We leave for Namek, and we leave for Namek after that. Once there, we're going to be trying to get the Dragon Balls. Shadow then uh, asks the question, what are Dragon Balls? Dragon Balls have the ability to wish anybody back to life, or grant you any wish in general. So this causes Shadow saying, wait a minute, if that's the case, I can wish my dad back to life. This basically is like, oh crap, if he does that, he does that. So they have to try and figure out a way to not to least try and keep Shadow occupied and not have him bring his father back to life. So that's a problem. But Raditz says, "Yeah, sure, we can bring your father back." Didn't even think that. That didn't even cross my mind. But sure, we can do that. But first, you need to train. Shadow's like, "Right, I need to go and get stronger. I can't beat Kakarot if I can't even beat the Green Man." So with that being said. Shadow, Shadow's about to fly out, but before he does, he asks Gohan if he's coming with. Gohan says, nah, I'm gonna stay home, I'm gonna stay here with my father, and then I'm probably gonna go home and see my mom. Then Shadow says, oh, so you have a mom too. This causes Gohan to say, yeah, <laughs> he kinda, he kinda need one. And say, Shadow, but then remembers his mother was also good. And then he kinda attracts the So Gohan, so then he says, I would kinda, I wanna meet your mom one day, Gohan. And hopefully she's nice. This causes Raditz and Goku to sweat and drop because everybody knows Chi Chi will screw anybody up. Everybody knows this. I'm pretty sure if Raditz ever actually did turn it within the actual canon, like this woman would smack him without a doubt. That's all I gotta say about that. But <laughs> I'm sorry I had to say it. Um, but with that being said, Raditz saying, well, come on, Shadow, we have things that we must do. In order to train you and get you stronger, we have to start immediately. Follow me. Raditz then jumps out the window like a barbarian and, and flies off. Shadow saying, "Well, I need to I need to catch up with him before I lose his scent." See you later, Gohan. It was nice meeting you too, Mr. Goku. And then he flies off as well. Goku looking at the young Sam, then looking back at his son, and saying, "I think you two are going to be real good friends." Gohan saying, "Are you sure about that?" No doubt in my mind. 
fast forward to which, uh, not fast forward, but skip over to Raditz and Shadow. Shadow, or, Shadow and Raditz are start are training furiously, and a week and before you know it, a week flies by like that. However, on the on the seventh day, Shadow decides that he's gonna go out and go and get some berries, try and get some food. And what he but what he doesn't uh, realize though, what he doesn't know is that there are some people near him. So while he's grabbing some apples and oranges, um, you know, because I actually like green apples. Whatever, <laughs> he's grabbing the fruit. Um, he, he he smells two people coming near him. At first, he thinks it's uh, rat, it's possibly the green man and Gohan, but these scents are way too different to be there. So then he starts getting in battle stance because he doesn't know if it, it's Rat is trying to play a prank and trying to uh, go him in the fighting again. So, but what he didn't, but what he comes to see is that there's two little kids, two kids about his age, one uh, a boy and a girl running in his direction. He's looking at them, saying, "Who are these guys? Why are they? Why are they running? Why are they in rags?" But then, before they can even answer, they say, "Please hide us. We're trying to. We're trying to run away from these guys. It, please don't tell anybody we're here. We beg of you." Shadow's like, "What are you talking about?" He then sees a few. Uh, he then sees a few army men coming through. He says, "Right. You guys hide behind the tree. I'll take care of them." And he says, "Okay then." Right. Uh. Then we have a confrontation with a whole other army we have not seen before. And then Shadow says, So, who are you guys? And what are you doing all the way out here in the forest? Pretty secluded, so I haven't, and I know I haven't seen anybody here, even though I've only been here a week. Then the general pops up, saying, Oh, my good sir, I'm sorry to bug you. Um, hmm. How old? How, how old are you? Uh, Shadow saying, I'm about. Six at this point. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm about. No, actually, I'm about eight. Yeah, eight. I'm eight. And this, go, and this causes him to look okay. Oh, oh, whatever. Anyway, sir, my name is General Red. Uh, my name is Gen. No, my name is General Brown of the Blue Tie Navy. I'm sorry, the name is just stupid. <laughs> it was the first thing that came to mind. But I am from the Blue Tie Navy, and you see, we had some runaways come through this way. Do you know where we can find them? And please answer carefully, because if you don't, we will be forced to take drastic measures. Shadow's like, uh-huh. Um, quick question. Hold still right there, sir. <clears throat> Pulls out a scouter and says, my uncle told me to use this thing whenever I want to see how strong somebody is. He looks at him and says, mm, with the way you are, you have a power level of... Hmm, seems to be about 350. This causes the man to gloat. I think, ha ha, do you hear that, man? My power level is 350. I must be the strongest in the universe. This causes Shadow to be like, not even close. My, if you want, you can, check my, you can check my power level. He talks to the scout to the general, and you touch it, and he's saying, how do I even work this thing? Put it over your, eye, put it over your ear and your eye, and then press the middle button. It will scan my power level. He says, okay, but I bet you're just going to rig this to... When he, then he shuts up, notice, noticing that the young lad's power level was now... Was, well, before then, he, was, he wasn't he was much for anybody. But now, Shadow's current power level, even though it's still kind of on the weak side, Shadow's current power level is now 5,000. This causes him like, huh. Hmm. Well, this must be a joke. It's just obviously some cheap toy. Before he get finished, he takes out the general and a few of the army men by himself. Now this leads to the question: What is Shadow going to do about the kids? He can't obviously take them. He could take them to Raditz, but would Raditz just destroy them in the mix? In the mix, or would he actually listen to his uh, nephew? We don't know at the time. So right now we're just going to assume that they're going to be friends. But at the same time, these kids have been traumatized and been through so much hell they can never know. So, this raises the question, what's going to be the relationship of three, these three kids? Well, I'll happily discuss that with you guys within the next What If. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Um, you know, I was going to release this Wednesday, but I had some stuff to do, which I greatly apologize for. Anyway, I'll see you guys within the next video, and peace!